much anticipated event we have been mentioning in our newscast for quite some time now. We figured what best way to give back than to take part in the blankets for the heart drive. That's why we're here today. When the weather starts to take a chill, Yuma comes together to warm hearts. By donating jackets, socks, blankets, and anything toasty for those in need. Our fellow anchor Vince Ibarra was supposed to be here with... Oh, oh gosh. Luis! Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm Vince, here. What? Thank you, Yuma, for sharing with Crossroads Mission. And making the season warmer for those in need. A very good Tuesday evening to all of you across the desert southwest. Happy holidays to you and yours. Today is the final Tuesday in 2021. Yes, it's the final week that we have before we say goodbye to 2021 and hello to 2022 on Saturday. We're at 55 degrees right now in Yuma, 54 degrees currently in El Centro. We'll have the sun rise here in Mountain Time at 740. For those of you Pacific Time, you can expect the sun to rise at 644. Let's take a quick look outside on the RV world of Yuma Skycam. Light traffic out there. We do have some cloud cover and some slight breezes as well. You can see that tree moving just back and forth a little bit. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar, show you what we have throughout the area. Again, not much here. This is from 720. Uh, we will have lingering clouds in and off throughout the night, thin layers of clouds. We're kind of watching what's coming here from San Diego County. That could make its way into Imperial County sometime tomorrow. A look at our future cache shows what we had going on today. We had the system coming in from the East Pacific. A lot of areas uh, could have had some light rain, maybe some heavy rain in northern Arizona, but we actually saw some snow. We saw some uh, light showers, but snow throughout portions just north of Phoenix. We're seeing more snow in the Great Lakes region and a band of showers making its way across the east. Back here in the desert southwest, our winds will start to taper off just a little bit into tomorrow morning. Then after lunchtime, we'll see those gusty winds come back, blowing anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Right now, our air quality index brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Still good. It's remained good all the way through the day today, all the way through the valley and on down to Mexicali. Let's take a look at those temperatures. We'll stay in the Imperial Valley. Calipatria 56, Imperial 53, El Centro is at 54 and Holtville is at 56 and across the county and state line into Yuma County, Arizona. We're at 54 in Yuma, 54 in San Luis, 54 in Somerton and 53 in the Foothills, Welton, Tacna and Dateland. Our viewer photo of the day today, it's our merry and bright holiday photo. We're going to continue to share these all week long as we say goodbye to 2021 since it is the holiday season. This sent in by Hector Ochoa from Calexico and he decided to decorate his house for the first time in many, many years. They usually leave for the holidays, but they stayed and they decorated for their three year old grandchild. And Hector, you guys did a fantastic job. If you have a photo, we'd certainly want to see it as well so I can share it with the rest of us. Scan that QR code. It's just like taking a photo with your phone and you'll magically be taken to the Marion Bright page. From there, you can upload your photo from your phone, include your name and a slight description, just like Hector did. Let's take a look at our MetroCast, show you what we have going on tonight. We should be right around 49 degrees. Some clouds will still linger throughout the area. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., 46 degrees. Again, broken clouds throughout the area. And then tomorrow at high noon, we'll be right around 59 degrees, partly sunny skies. And again, 59. We're going to get a little bit warmer than that. Here's your seven-day forecast. Take a look at this. Breezy tomorrow. Our average for this time of year is 68 degrees. We're going to be well below that as we say goodbye to 2021. Rain coming into the area on Thursday and Friday. Take a look at some of the low temps, though. Starting on Saturday and Sunday, when we start 2022, we'll be down into the upper 30s. A different story for those of you in the Imperial Valley. Uh, rain possibly coming in after 2 o'clock tomorrow. You could see rain tomorrow night and lasting all the way until about 10 a.m. on Friday morning. So maybe three doses of rain uh, throughout portions of the Imperial Valley. Cooler, again, the average uh, for this time of year, 68 degrees. But take a look at the lows on Saturday and Sunday. Near freezing. We could be at 33 degrees both Saturday morning when you wake up and Sunday morning when you wake up. Cooler temperatures ahead as we start 2022.